welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be making a text wipe effect in Blender. Now, we're going to be showing two different ways you can achieve this effect in Blender, and uh, this is the result you should get once you're finished. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is delete the default cube by pressing X on your keyboard and then clicking delete. Next, you want to go into front view by pressing numpad 1 on your keyboard. Then, you want to bring the camera into front view by pressing Ctrl and then Alt and then numpad 0 on your keyboard. Now, let's add the text object that we're going to make fade. So, go into the top left of the screen, click the Create tab, scroll down, and click Text. So, now we've added a text object to our scene. Let's rotate it so that it's facing us by typing R and then X, and then typing 90 on our keyboard, and then just press enter to confirm the rotation. Next, go into the right of the screen, and click the text data tab, scroll down, and under paragraph and align, click center. That will just put our text in the center of the screen. So let's left click on this blue arrow here, pull our text object down, and uh, press tab to go into edit mode and you can erase the text and type whatever text you want I'm just going to type uh, text in all caps and tab to exit text edit mode so let's just size our text object up a little S and move your cursor out and left click to confirm the sizing and then left click and hold on this blue arrow and pull the text down and let go of left click and that should be good so now we're going to start making materials for our text so let's switch to the cycles render engine since we're going to be using cycles materials so let's go to the top of the screen click this box here and select cycles render and uh, let's set this to render view so you can see how this looks So you can see we've got a basic gray text with a basic gray background. So let's make the background a little bit of a more pleasant color. So let's click the world settings. And click the color box and just pull the brightness up there. I'm going to change it to maybe a light blue. And that's looking pretty good. So now we've got a nice blue background color. Let's right click on our text object. So I'm going to go back into solid view. Make sure your text object is selected. Go into the right of the screen and click the materials tab. And click new to add a new material. And change it from a, surf, a diffuse material to an emission material. And let's make the emission strength 3 so we get a nice bright text. So let's set this to render view. Click this box here and click render. And now you can see we've got a nice bright white text and a nice bright blue background. Let's pull up another window here so we can finally start making the fade effect for the text. So go back to solid view. And go into the bottom left corner here and just left click once that cross comes up and just pull this out. And now we've got another window here. So let's go to the node editor by clicking this box here. And uh, click node editor. And uh, this is the material for our text object here. These are the nodes. So let's add a mix shader. Add shader mix shader. And hook it up after the emission shader. And let's add in a transparent shader. So click add shader transparent. And just hook it up to the top input of the mix shader. So let's move these nodes around so you can see how the setup is. Okay, so the transparency goes on top and the emission goes on the bottom. So use your scroll wheel, just press on that to pan around here. 
let's add in an object that's going to control our transparency for our text object. So let's go into render view so that you can see what adding that transparent shader did. So basically, the mix shader is going to decide how much the transparency is mixed with the emission. So if we put it down to zero, transparency isn't going to be mixed at all with the emission. So you'll just have nothing but transparency. If I put it up to one, you'll have nothing but the emission. So let's put that back to 5.5 so we get some half and half. And let's add an empty. So we'll just click this here. And now you have an empty in your scene. Right click on your text object. And we're going to add in a texture coordinate node. I'm going to make the coordinates of our empty object the factor for the transparency. So we'll click add input texture coordinate. Pull this box up here. Go up to zoom in and use the middle mouse button to pan around. And in the object box here, click it. And you want to select the empty. So after selecting the empty, hook the object output of the texture coordinate node to the factor input of the mix shader node. And now let's press shift B on our keyboard and pull up a render border here, a render section. And uh, right click on the empty. And now if we move the empty by pressing G, you can see that it's controlling the transparency. So let's right click and let's get back to the text object. So right click on the text object. And what we're going to do now is we're going to rotate the coordinates of our empty so we get a more straight up gradient here instead of a sort of diagonal gradient. So we're going to add in a vector mapping node. So click add vector mapping and hook it up after the object output of the texture coordinate node. Then change it to texture. Just left click on the texture box there. Make sure you have that clicked. And uh, basically, let's adjust the Y rotation. And you can see changes in our text object over here as we do that. So it's basically rotating the coordinates of where the empty is in the transparency factor here. So we can rotate it on the Y and we can have a diagonal gradient or pull that back and have a more have a more vertical gradient there. So that is looking pretty good. So let's now animate our text wipe. So let's go down to zoom out here. So you can see the full node set up here. And uh, right click on the empty. Now let's press GX and move the empty so it's past our text and just left click and then press I and once the insert keyframe menu dialog pops up just click location. So now on frame 1 our empty is going to be over here and let's jump to frame 10 so just left click frame 10 on the timeline there and press G, X, move your cursor up to the side, and left click to confirm that movement, and I, and click location. So now, from frame 1 to 10, our empty is going to be moving to the side there. And that's just going to make our text object wipe in. So if we press Shift B, pull another board over it. And you can see the full text wipe effect. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. Now, there's another way you can achieve the text wipe effect, and let's let's see this method. So, right click on the text object, and just click this here so that we keep our material in the file. Make another material by clicking that too there, and uh, we're going to disregard the empty coordinates and delete the vector mapping node and let's just put generated here put the output of that in the mix shader and click add converter color ramp 
and just hook that up there. Now let's see what this color ramp does. Let's pull the black color stop up to the side. As you can see, we get a nice wipe effect there too. And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to add in a vector mapping node to rotate the coordinates once again. Add vector mapping. Hook it up after generated coordinates. Click texture. And let's use Y rotation again. We can use X rotation. Works better for the color ramp. And that is looking pretty good. So if we pull the black stop over here, got a nice text wiping effect. Now, let's use a little mouse button to pan around here and scroll up to zoom in. If we adjust the X coordinates on the location, it should basically move this whole color ramp from side to side its coordinates for the factor for the transparency. So currently you can just move one stop and get that wipe there. Or you can adjust the X coordinates and just pull all of that to the side there. Okay, so let's click this box here and put that back to zero. And let's go to frame frame one and pull the X location to the side there, negative 1.4. And hover your cursor over that and press I. And jump to frame 10. And do two for the X coordinates. Right, so that should wipe all the way through. Okay, 1.1 is good. So we'll hover your cursor over that and press I. And now you have another text wipe effect. So if we switch to our first material, this material here, the coordinates of the empty that we have in our scene, let's go to solid mode, it's going to control the transparency for the first material we created. And for the second material, the X location of a color ramp is going to control the transparency for this material. So there you have it. That's uh, two different ways to make a text wipe transparency effect in Blender. So now we're pretty much finished with this tutorial. Let's uh, set the end frame to something like 30, maybe 25. So if you render this out, you won't render any extra frames. So then this front effect can be used for basically any object in Blender Cycles that has a material. So you can make a car or a tree or a 3D text object fade out as well. So we hope you learned something useful from this tutorial. And if you did, you can leave a comment or a like below. So thanks for watching and subscribe to stay tuned for the next tutorial from Partners in Coordinated Rendering of Ideas, Motion, and Effects. Thank you.